I'm Joyce Maynard. I'm the author of Labor Day, the novel that's just been adapted into a wonderful film uh, directed by Jason Reitman and starring Kate Winslet and Josh Brolin. It's about to open. Um, and in that, as I told Jim and Marjorie a moment ago, um, in that film, a crucial scene um, involves uh, the character played by Josh Brolin, a convict on the run, uh, teaching a lonely single mother um, how to make a pie. He's holed up in her house because the police are after him. And it's Labor Day weekend and somebody gives her some peaches, some overripe peaches, and you know there's only one thing to do when that happens. Um, and we're going to do that. So, um, Marjorie looked very interested in the pie and kind of sad that we were on, on radio, not TV. So I said I'd make a pie and we're in this somewhat funky little spot and we don't have the perfect tools. And that's great actually because it just part of the Part of the message of my pie is that it doesn't have to be perfect. So I would normally never bake in these, but we're going to. And I just have plastic forks and some other things also, not a problem. Um, uh, being in New England, there are great, great fruits available all kinds of times. But we're, at the moment, because it's winter, we're going to use Granny Smith apples for an apple pie. Granny Smith apples are a pretty dependable go-to apple. And I've just peeled up a lot of them. I'm going to slice these apples up for the filling. And, you know, some people have these very fancy tools that, that you crank, turn a crank, and they make all the slices for you very fast, and children love them. But I don't use it because it makes the um, apples too skinny and too uniform. And um, part of what I love in a good pie, a good apple pie, you know, is texture. So I want to have a certain variation in my pie, as in life. Um, and I'm going to... Get. And this is probably about six, seven good sized Granny Smith apples will be enough for our pie. So I've got my apples here. Um, in Labor Day, it's a peach pie, as I mentioned, but um, in the dead of winter, apple pie is probably a pretty good guess. Um, here, here are my apples. I, um, you could measure. I have made so many hundreds, thousands of pies I don't measure anymore. And I don't like an overly sweet pie because the sweetness is in the ice cream that of course you want on top. Um, I keep a towel over my shoulder. Actually, it was a New Hampshire friend of mine who um, taught Josh Brolin to always have a towel over his shoulder and you'll see that in the movie because that's what her mother did. That's all of these pie stories really go back to her mother's. Cinnamon, just toss it in. The scene in Labor Day, the pie making scene in Labor Day, takes a few liberties because it's Josh Brolin and Kate Winslet, and we want to see them just falling in love and so hot for each other. So their hands are really mushing around in the bowl. In general, um, if you're making a pie by yourself, you probably feel no need <laughs> to mush with your own hands quite as much. Here's a controversy. Butter makes a more flavorful crust. Crisco makes a flakier crust. What to do? You use both. So you keep your butter cold. Very, very important. My butter came here a little bit lukewarm. And so we just popped it in the freezer. You can, you have to you have to move kind of fast here because you don't want things to melt. So I don't care if George Clooney or Josh Brolin calls you up on the phone. You have to tell him call back another time if you're at this cutting up the butter stage in your pie. Here is an essential tool. Some people make pie crust in a Cuisinart, and I love a Cuisinart. It's a terrific tool, but and, and it makes a great French tart, but it is not a tool that's going to give you a flaky crust. This is my grandmother's pastry butter. You can get one at any supermarket in that tool section. And this is a motion called cutting. And you just integrate the shortening with the flour. Oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe that I did this because I never do this. I forgot the salt, and that's not a problem. This is actually, I could have said that I did this on purpose just to show you that you can fix all things with pie. Um, the one thing you must never leave out is your salt, and I just almost did. So it's easy now to see where it is because this salt is kind of pink. Fine, no problem. And this is what it should start to look like, kind of a meal. Okay. Some little chunks, some smaller chunks. Um, 
Now I'm going to add my water and I'm going to add the least water I can get away with because it's always possible to add more but you cannot take it away. I put a little bit, a little splash in the center as if it's a well and I only want to integrate it with the, the flower part in the middle because I don't want it to sit on all of this longer than it has to when we have two crusts to make. And I'm not going to make a perfect ball that looks like a baseball. I'm going to have it just barely hold together because that's going to make for the flakiest crust. Wooden rolling pin. They make all kinds of fancy, expensive rolling pins. No need. You might flower your rolling pin a little bit. And then you have this brisk motion. Now, does this look hopeful as a pie crust? Probably not if you're thinking, this woman is crazy. But here is my absolute best tool. It's the heel of my hand. And I use it to patch. And the more it falls apart, the more I know that there's a good pie coming out of this experience. These sort of little places where the dough lifts up, that's really good news for your pot. All of those places are future flakiness. It's all kind of geological in there. Okay, now we have a dilemma. How are we going to get this into our pie plate? What to do? Flip. Press down. Roll up. Some people refrigerate their dough, and frankly, this because this dough, the butter was not as cold as it ideally would be, I could stick this in the fridge or the freezer for three minutes just to make it a little easier, but it is rolling up. And if it gets stuck on the paper, you just gently get it down there again, and you can always patch. Here it comes, and this actually looks beautiful. This is just what I want. Oh dear, not a problem. I just take these extra little bits and I press them in. No. Okay. Now, here comes my essential ingredient. It's less important for an apple pie, but if I were making a berry pie, or as in Labor Day, a peach pie, there'd be this runniness of the fruit, and some people counteract that with another word I really don't like to use in a pie lesson, cornstarch. I use minute tapioca, and I sprinkle it on the bottom, and we, here we go. Take our filling, our apples, pile them up in a nice, generous pile. Perfect amount. Squirt a little lemon on the top. Possibly, I don't think there's ever enough butter in anything. A few little bits of butter on the top. This is a nice high pie. Now we're going to set this aside to make the top crust. One more crust to go. Once again, toss in a tiny little bit of water. You can always add more. Fork it around. Make our ball. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Make sure that it's Josh Brolin's big convict hands doing this. I think I maybe need a little more water. Roll this up. Flower up our rolling pin. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, yes! Nice, brisk, confident strokes. Make it nice and thin. State of Maine, maybe state of Indiana. Heel of the hand, a great tool to take with you wherever you go. Incidentally, in case you were wondering about my apron, you too can have one. You just have to go to Guatemala. I am wearing a Guatemalan indigenous woman's fancy dress apron uh, with zippers in the pockets to put the money in. And I always mention this because I think this could be a real fashion item of the future. 
and have an extensive order of them. All right, now comes our big moment. And this is kind of a big moment in the labor of the movie because Josh Brolin has been making the pie, but he wants Kate Winslet to put the top crust on. And Kate Winslet is a very nervous woman. She's not a confident woman. And this is a moment in the pie making that requires some confidence and some faith. Um, can't let anything throw you. You know, an ice machine might kick on and be really noisy, but you just go for it because you do not stop when you're at this point in the pie. You've got to put the crust on. We do not hesitate in mid-flip. And, um, and this is the moment where Josh Brolin says to Kate Winslet, let's put a roof on this house. And I'm going to do it. Ta-da. Go around, edges, press it down. Now let's suppose it did break apart a little bit. No disaster. You just cracked. You've got that heel of your hand. And now I'm going to peel this paper back up. Oh, look at that. I'm really happy about this pie. Go around and pinch. Join that you of course it helps that I had a little bit of overhang on my on my bottom crust. Pinch around the edges. I always like to leave a little bit sticking up because there's going to be somebody in your house who will want to sample that pie before it's served. So you you provide them with pieces they can conveniently break off. Okay. This is a beaten egg. Um, if I had a pastry brush, I would use it at this point, and if I had a four-year-old around, this would certainly be a job I would give to that four-year-old. As it is, I'm going to use my fingers, so forgive me. And I just paint it with this egg. This is going to make a nice little glaze. Of course, I'm making a mess, because that's me. This would have been one of the many moments on the Labor Day set that uh, the professional chef watching me in action would have uh, had a heart attack. And I'm going to take some of my sugar, sprinkle it on the top, take my fork, hold a few holes, and let the steam out. And this, uh, I, if I do say so myself, this looks like exactly the kind of pie that a convict that racing to escape the law would have made. And it looks a little funky now, which is how I believe a pie should look. Um, but uh, when it bakes, and I wish, I wish I could show you how it looks when it bakes, it's going to be really golden and beautiful. 400 degrees. I always say bake it until it smells like pie, but if you if you really push me on it, I'd say probably about 40 minutes. But but just watch for that golden brown crust and, um, and the smell of pie.